Okay, so before I get into anything, I just realized that I filmed this entire video and I didn't give any context to what I'm actually talking about. So if you don't know, if you haven't seen what's happened, um, over the weekend there were two different events that I'm about to talk about. Number one, Christina Grimmie, who was a musician, a YouTuber, uh, a contestant on The Voice, um, had performed a tour stop in Orlando and then was shot uh, while she was meeting fans after the show and she died. And then the other event was 50 people. There might be developments after this comes out, but 50 people were killed at a Latino night at a gay bar during Pride Month in Orlando. So these two events are what I'm about to talk about. I don't have all the answers. I'm probably not gonna say everything right. I'm probably gonna forget to say some things. Um, please forgive me. I just wanted to talk about what's going on. Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley. I'm kind of losing my voice. I was at Gay Pride this weekend and I was hooting and hollering, so I was kind of like screaming. Um, so I'm a little bit, forgive me. Uh, but that was Saturday night, and Sunday morning when I woke up, uh, I was supposed to go to the Gay Pride Parade. I was supposed to have a book signing. I had a big day planned. Um, and Sunday morning when I woke up, I saw the news of what happened in Orlando, and it really... Um, struck a chord and it really hit me. I have never been so thrown or so torn up or so deeply impacted by something as much as this. I didn't know these people. Obviously, there are people out there that are much more personally affected by this because these people were in their lives. But the thought of something like this happening between a creator in a f fan interaction environment or during Pride Month, to LGBTQ plus people where they feel most safe. These two things independently hit me and all in one weekend, it just felt like, I don't know, it really, it really fucked me up. And I think about the people that lost their lives, who had so much ahead of them, who were just celebrating life in a place where we should feel safe. And I think about other places where we should feel safe that things like this have happened, like preschools or churches. It's, I, it, it boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. And so I think about all the people that might be watching this or who might be seeing all the news and feeling scared. Um, I feel scared too. And that is why I just feel like you are magical. I love you. I think you're valid. You're great. Your experience is worth living. I don't want you to see this and feel like you live in a world where you can't be yourself. Um, and I think about the people that were killed and how some of them might have been closeted and their friends and their family are just now figuring out who they really were because they're seeing them on a list of people that were shot at a gay bar. You know what I mean? Like that's, it is so fucking unfair. And I, I just want, I just wanted, I just wanted you to know that I think you're great. And I think that you have an incredible life ahead of you. And you deserve to live that life. Being in this community, being somebody who is in the LGBTQ plus community is a fucking blessing. There is nothing wrong with you. It doesn't matter what people might tell you. They may want you to the very core think that you are terrible or that you need to change. They may want that from you. And they may do things that are so despicable, like literally kill people, just like us. But I want you to know that they're wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. And no violent act is going to change that this life that we are living is a blessing. And I always think about Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. And how well, that was one of the hardest levels when I was growing up. And I always think it's like such a good little metaphor that this little journey, this little route that we are blessed to take as people in the LGBTQ plus community, nobody said it was gonna be easy. 
That's just, that is the, the hand we were dealt on this specific planet, okay? Like, that is just how it's really kind of gone down so far. We're here, we're doing it. LGBTQ plus people are strong and resilient and we're going to make it through this and we're going to fucking change the world. We already have. We will continue to do so. We're going to keep showing up. We're still going to go celebrate pride. We're not going to go away. Straight people, thank you for supporting us um, and amplifying our voices during this time when it's been really challenging for donating blood when you can, where you can, because a lot of places we are not able to give blood as gay men, um, which is just another thing, just another thing. Uh, isn't it crazy that people in Orlando whose best friends might have just been shot can't go donate blood to help save them? I just, there are things that need to get fixed. Um, there are things that need to get fixed. That's the point of this. Uh, so in the description, I'm going to put some links and um, some things that you can do. Because I feel like right now, I, I just, I felt afterward, I felt like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, what can I do? Like, I feel like I, I, feel like I should be doing something. Whether you have one follower, 10 million followers, whatever, if you want to get involved, I think you should. You can contact your government officials. Uh, you can tell them what's important to you, if that is LGBTQ plus rights, if that is gun control, if that is this or that or whatever it might be, I think you have the power to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some resources in the description. I just, I, my, what I would like is for you to feel okay, um, because I didn't on Sunday. I didn't, and I... I needed to grieve. If you are feeling this deep connection to whatever's going on, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to take a moment and step back and take care of yourself. Um, I really do feel like if you can't take care of yourself first, you can't help others. You can't help the community. Like I, as much as I want to help you guys, anybody that's LGBTQ+, I can't do that unless I'm making sure that I'm dealing with all of it too. Honestly, it's helpful for me to kind of articulate all this. My mom called me on Sunday and was like, it's... parents shouldn't have to call their kids to make sure they're alive. Fuck. And shame, ooh, shame on fucking politicians who will offer thoughts and prayers instead of actually doing something from their place of power. That's why we need to do something. If I were shot and killed, heaven forbid, and a politician that spent their political career wanting me to not have rights and protecting the gun industry instead of protecting people. If a politician that did those things offered my family their thoughts and prayers, what a, f like, just vile. You can offer thoughts and prayers if that's what you want to do, but do something. With your place of power, do something that's going to actually change and prevent it from happening to anybody else. That's what I think. That's what I think. I will, you will not all agree with me, but that's what I think. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you for the kind words and for all the love, but I truly believe we need to actually do something. So all the links are going to be in the description. Um, but that's all. Okay, I'm going to go. I know there's things that I've probably forgotten to say. That's all. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.